Alright guys, they're playing some Garen top lane into an Aatrox and what are running this game is Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity, Elastant, Unflinching and then also the second wind and then we're also com going to combine the second wind along with the D-Shield for the poke. Um, this game, I want to be going for a crit slash ADC sort of build on Garen. Uh, it's something that I did play previously, which is like really, really good. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I'm specifically referring to the Guild Force build. Garen's got a really, really, really solid build and I want you guys to try it out for yourself as well. So yeah, this game we're playing as Aatrox. The matchup isn't too bad, but we do need to specifically have uh, a specific type of setup to make it work. We've got like a healing setup. The D shield second wind applies every time a shark is going to hit me, which means I'm going to be perma healing. And then I also got my passive, which also perma heals me the entire time when I'm out of combat, which is going to make this lane very, very winnable. Um, I'm planning on on playing it safe until level three, and then once we have the wave in a good position, we start playing aggressive. And we're also going to be specifically building to Berserker Squeeze before we go Gale Force. So. I want to itemize, like, I want my uh, items to be, like, pixel perfect for this matchup to make it as winnable as possible. Got my W instead of my E. We'll see if we can make some good use out of it. We also got the jungle, like, pathing top side, which is perfect here. Got it. Hopefully we'll get most. I think he might go for like a cheater recall, possibly. Not too bad. He hit that one. Did not take the tower hit. Get most of the last hits. He probably placed the ward down. Probably what happened. They got a Master Yi in the jungle. Not too bad for me. We'll take that trade. See, like, um, we got the healing setup, so we're still healing from it. We actually hard win this entire trait because of it. The healing setup is extremely OP, especially in matchups like this. Again, we hit, like, a full combo. Good stuff. I'm not going to use potion because there's simply no need to do that. And we got out. I kind of wanted to get myself the Berserker's Greaves as soon as I do like the first reset, but I should have done the back port. Let's think about the 1v2 actually. Hmm. Well, unfortunately that didn't quite work out as I wanted to. No, 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 no. That's okay. He's got to reset it. He's not going to make that. That's not going to happen. Very unlikely. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, that push is not necessarily the best, but I'm glad that Aatrox is like shoving it, so it's not too bad. It's kind of worried he is going to freeze it. But as he currently looks, he's not doing that. Or oh, he does do it. Okay. So yeah, again, like, the first thing we do is go Berserker's Grease. We just have to, because movement speed in this matchup is... Uh, especially this matchup, it's, like, very important. And then as soon as we got that stuff, then we start building into Gale Force. Which is where the fun starts. Walk out of that one. Gotta make sure I don't get hit by the knockback. Let's take a look here. So we gotta play it safe temporarily. Can't walk into the Aatrox that much. Our must never Good trade. Not too bad. That's like one Q alone. Hmm. He's gonna go for the cannon, I think. Yep. Decided to go for the cannon. Taking some damage, but that's okay. Not too bad. A second Q does not apply. Nice. He'll probably try and place a ward down. I'm about to hit level 6 sooner than he does. Hmm. 
Hmm. If we can get him this low and get level 6 first, that would be amazing. Hmm. I don't think my ultimate's going to wreck him. No. Oh, he's just got it in time. Excellent. I was about to kill him right there, and then he actually gets the level up. Oh, okay. Hmm. Goodbye. Well, I've got quite lucky because apparently... <laughs> he tried going in. But he did not respect my Q, so... Either he tries and fight me right there, or he's just gonna fail very hard. And he chose to go for the fight, actually. Which isn't too bad for me. That's actually quite decent. I'll take the longsword instead of the attack speed, because I want some raw damage. So... Now things will get very interesting. Because we're specifically... Um, gonna build the guild force specifically the seal as soon as we can or the bf sword that would be even better um after the guild force we will likely build into a phantom dancer because again this provides raw damage attack speed crit chance and movement speed these are all things that i need as well and then after that like it becomes very situational but yeah the guild force phantom dancer combination is really nice I think I might thin this out just a bit. He's currently stands. He doesn't want to walk up to me anymore that much, <laughs> which is understandable. Nice one. I'm going to clean this up using my ability. There you go. I'll get rid of this entirely. I want to try and all in this guy as soon as I get the chance, but... It's going to depend because this guy actually does have Ignite available. I don't... I think it's up. I don't think he used it before. Let's see. I need about 65 seconds to get my Ignite. I do actually get my Flashback in about 2. So I can't try and outplay him when I get level 8. I'm going to be aiming for this. Oh, I lost Cannon. Well played. Got, he actually hit the Q. There goes the Drake. Good news, the Master is not here. <laughs> nice. This guy's playing it like ultra safe. He doesn't take too many risks. Let's kind of hold it out here. We got my level 8. The Aatrox is level 7 right now, so... Now we're going to be looking for a fight. We've also got the jungle top side. I think he's going for the Herald. So I will not touch the wave because the, the more Aatrox will lose here for not being here, the better. He's actually losing a lot of XP for doing this. Yep, and he is back. I think I'm getting ganked by a Master here. Man, this guy's playing ultra safe. I'm not even getting close to him. <laughs> yep, and he's gonna die. Yep. Nice. Thankfully, this guy actually walked up to me. I was kind of afraid he wasn't even gonna try. It's kept playing it safe. It would still wouldn't be bad because then I could reset. At least we get one plate. Nice. I'd like to get more, but that would actually be negative towards my lane. Because if I stay and then Aatrox makes uh, his way back to lane, I could basically never reset anymore. Which is actually really bad. We don't want that, right? We want to be able to get back to lane, be in perfect position, and when he tries to push, we can just like fight him again. So, rip. 
playing it very slowly with the plates. I don't want to be great, too greedy with the plates. We got to make sure we stay ahead in terms of XP for sure. Um, only problem now is I don't have Ignite. I also don't have my ultimate. It's like 55 seconds. Horus is going to try it out. We can go for some small trades. There's nothing wrong with the small trades. Again, he's probably going to go for the cannon, so I'm just going to walk up here. Nice. He didn't. He probably didn't get the XP for that because he was like staying really far away from the cannon. He probably didn't expect me to like play that aggressively. <laughs> he probably didn't know that my ultimate was on cooldown. Probably. And now we just kind of hold it. There we go. Hold it again. I'm just going to cast my W probably too. Depends. And we keep it frozen. We now have like a very, very big, large, like farming advantage due to like the way how we're playing it. Now we just maintain it. Nice. Again, we hold. I'll use my W as well. Yeah, <laughs> this guy has been taking a jungle camp. Again, we just keep holding it. This guy is uh, trying to reset it, but it's not working out for him. 25 is lead so far. And still hold it. I will not use my Q here. Because I want this wave to keep on being positioned like this. Again, he plays it very safe. There's not much you can do about the nature of playing safe like this. Because we don't really have a dash. Not yet, at least. Oh, well played. I will shove this one. Master Yi turns out to be here. Hmm. I think I could probably kill off the Master Yi, but it really depends. He's probably going to look for other jungle camps. I'm assuming. Nice ultimate. The next Q that I can hit is going to be a kill. Nah, yeah, let's walk up. It's probably a warden here. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, this guy's going to play ultra save again. That's yeah, the problem. Aatrox can uh, slow me down with his Q. So it's very hard for me to walk up to him. What if I... I could maybe kill him with my teammates. Depends. And then he flashes away. Yeah, that sucks. He's probably going to walk away now. Oh, I'm taking some damage. I mean, it's not too bad. Nice. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Let's walk out. Man, my, my ultimate and my auto attack was like perfect timing. I was going to die. Like if I didn't play like that, I would have 200% die for sure. Like there, there would be no way for me to live out of that fight. I had to try it out. Cast my R inside auto range and then just going for the auto before he can dish it out. I'm actually quite surprised at like how well that turned out to be. <laughs> Not too bad, man.
<laughs> Alright, we're gonna go for a Phantom Dancer next, and after that, things will get more interesting. Because after that, like, we can uh, adapt my build, like, based on, like, what we're up against, so... We will see. I like the idea of Collector this game, by the way. I kind of like this idea. So I have no Ignite, I also do not have my ultimate anymore, but fortunately it's like only 35 seconds. So it's not too much to worry about. Can't walk up here, he's gonna hit the Q. I'm not gonna lose the cannon. What if I walk around here? I don't know if he's gonna expect it or not. I wonder if he will risk something. I don't think he expects me to be here. Hmm. Yep. Decent trade. What if I do it again? The next combo will kill him. If he backports, that's even better. I like that. Nah, he doesn't do it. He's gonna go for the jungle camp. Yeah, it's gonna farm it. Yeah, I'm not too happy with the lane. This Aatrox is playing ultra safe. Like, zero chance of me being able to beat him. He's just playing really, uh, he's playing from really far off. Uh, apparently Master Yi is up here. With his blade. And I think I'm he's probably gonna take Herald, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shove this one too. <laughs> Master Yi is taking this one for sure. There's no doubting it. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, this absolutely does not surprise me at all. Like... Not too bad. And then he walks away. I chose to get the HP above trying to get a kill on Aatrox, because I don't want to die here. It's too important for me to stay alive here. Especially now, because I'm like worth a lot of value. I'm like having a big bounty. If Aatrox kills me at that point, then my whole lane is not going to be enjoyable anymore. I'd actually get outscaled by Aatrox if he gets to kill me. So I'm, I, I decide to play that safe. I do not want to take the risk there and I'm glad I did. So let's go for a reset once again. This time we go for the Phantom Dancer. We're going to start building the next item now, which is going to be uh, probably Collector. I'm thinking about going collector. I also like the idea of Demon's Blade, but I like the I like the crit chance slash lethality build that I'm trying to follow this game from one of my previous builds that I've done. And let's go again. Master Yi turns out to be in mid. Let's see what we can do. Got him. Pretty nice. Kill it right there. We're gonna be walking up Bale now. I got my Gale Force. The Caitlyn ultimate is needed here. Hmm. He died right beforehand. My timing on my ultimate was so bad, like, my ultimate was like two seconds, man. I had to flash, otherwise I would die. This was very risky, but I had to flash. If she was going to cast her combo under tower, I would die. That's just way too close, bro. Uh, let's go for pickaxe, let's go for... I, I think I can go for even more crit chance, but I like longsword. Just some raw damage. We're specifically gonna like be getting the red buff here, and then we probably go back topside. Drake spawns in like 50, so might not be able to go topside. Guess we have to fight for the Drake. 
Nice. Top lane's being shoved the entire way, so going top side is not the way to go, especially with Drake spawning. Um, if M MF is gonna hard push top, then I will go back top lane, because I think I can kill them both very easily. Flash? Oh. Alright. I don't think I'm going to be able to get in here, but... I don't think... Will she go for jungle camps? I doubt it. Yeah. It appeared... Oh, she's actually going Drake. Alright. Wow. I got outplayed. They they have to walk out. They will actually die. This is not good. They just gotta respond to this one. Okay. They actually go for it. Well play by them. Still got Drake despite uh this whole play going wrong here. Whoa. <laughs> just a little bit fat guys just just a little bit just a 14 kills i ah, just casually like dashing up <laughs> all right i'm thinking about selling this shit for crit chance but i'm not gonna do it just thinking about it though i'm just gonna farm like 500 i refuse to sell this shield there's a lot of people who sell D shield for stuff like that, but in my opinion, that's not worth it at all. Because the, the start item still gives quite a bit of value. More than you think. Way more than you think. Well, these guys are chilling with Adi. I'm just going to path bottom. Her ultimate is down. Oh? They walk away from that stuff. Oh, Shafana could have killed him. Huh. He could have had him. Really? Does he expect my Gale Force, though? <laughs> he does not expect my dash. All right, let's go. Now, let's go back real quick. We're getting ganked by MF and Yumi. Guys, this is why Gale Force Garen is so good. It's because people don't expect it. That's the best part about it. See what I mean? Like... I think I can probably get another one. I think it's probably... Be yeah, it's being warded. It's being warded for sure, actually. I think that place there is also warded. Hey, thank you for the resub five months, Mithy. Welcome back, man. Thank you for the support. Yeah, let's, get my, uh, let's get my collector. The next item that we will build is likely becoming the mortal reminder because again it provides armor pen damage crit chance it also provides the 40 percent healing reduction when i'm trying to fight aatrox which are all again like these are all things that i need right and we're gonna go crit chance and uh and damage it's all that matters let's go body I think we might find the uh, MF and Yumi here, but like, I can fight them both. So that's not bad. Gotcha. See? No problem for me. There you go. Got another one. Too bad the Yumi doesn't survive. <laughs> In the king's name. 
Let's see, is there some more jungle camps? Nope. I can try and get the mid one. That opens up the map slightly more. And if we kill the Master Yi here... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's great that's that's much more much more gold right there we got 2.8 let's go for two more waves and then we reset and get the the um, the mortar reminder Okay, apparently they all went top lane, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I was worth a lot of gold. I'm quite surprised though, because they are about to lose a Drake right now. Let's get it. Well, Shafana should have just. Uh, Shafana should just start right away. Adi has no ultimate. Okay, nice, we got it. Very good. Next thing is probably mid lane. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and assassinate somebody with Gale Force. Yeah, let's go. So last item is a bit situational. What I'm thinking about doing is either Deadman's Blade or Hallbreaker. We'll see. I like Hallbreaker a lot, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna make good use out of it this game. It really depends. I like Black Lever too, despite going crit chance. Let's get that camp too. There's another way for approaching too. We'll take that. We're about to reach level 18. And let's take this stuff here. Nice. Ooh, I have an idea. Wait. This guy is going full tank, so I'm not sure if this will work. Man, this guy is so, so slow. It takes him so long to push, man. What's going on? I can't believe how slow this guy is. <laughs> Alright, I got him. Really? After all this time, I'm like, me like standing in the corner. <laughs> you flash, like, hey, it's flash, you just ease across the wall. Well, Baron's getting taken. I think Adi is gonna try and walk up here. I'll, I'll kill whoever's gonna walk up here. Oh, you're dead. Also gets away? Same way? Just, uh, I, I tried, like, casting Armin. And, like, ultimately, that's how I die. Like, unbelievable. Oh, man, that's so unlucky. Oh, man, that's unlucky. This Zanya. This, like, um, the flash worked sooner than my ultimate did. Well, I have an idea. We can go Storm Razor. Let's go for Storm Razor. Perfect item right here. 
if we have storm racer we we drop that down on whoever it is then we're gonna do some pretty ridiculous damage on my q once i have it we'll see how that's gonna work out we need to have like uh 450 more so it's not that much and here we go I still have a good feeling about this game, only Adi is like a huge, a huge issue, but that's pretty much what it is. Like a fun fact, like Aatrox is going full tank mode and we're just crushing it with uh, one QE. <laughs> They're all in mid lane. I need like 250 more. Nice. Let's go back, get my item. Or they're going for a fight. Let's see what happens. They got the catch. Really? Oh man. Like, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you guys, man. Like, I didn't want to use my flash. I tried not using it. Turns out that the MF is actually using flash. Okay, that's fine. Like, flash is fine. Then, I get creep locked. Literally, the wave was... Well, actually, no, I didn't even get creep locked, I think. No, not really. Actually, no. Hmm. I couldn't get creep block, I got Phantom Dancer. No, I got exhausted halfway through. That's what it was. I couldn't make it to a MF, man. I had to cast R super early because I was like standing outside range. That's super unfortunate. And then they, well, yeah, to top it off, I was exhausted. Super unlucky. Let's retry. I'm uh, basically full build right now, so we sh it, sh it should be looking good. If I can make one Q on somebody, that person will die. As long as they don't flash. Nice catch. Very nice catch. <laughs> that sucks. Aatrox, W managed to hit. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's very hard to deal with an Adi this game being like this, like, ultra fed. It's very easy for a champ like Adi to just like jump up to me with like three dashes and just hit E on me. Because I don't really have an ability that can sidestep. Go red potion. We're maxed out completely now. Go red potion too. Funny enough, the Master Yi is like existing this game. It's got like six skills, nearly full build, but like we haven't seen the Master Yi being useful at all, at all this game. We've only been struggling with Yumi, MF, and this guy. Nice one, good catch. Let's see, we have about 416 AD. Of course, that excludes my conquer. If I fully stack, it will have way more. Uh, four of them are dead. It's only the MF, which I can kill with my Gale of Force. I'll try Q Gale Force up to DMF. Of course, wave hits me right there. Nice. And goodbye. <laughs> and then I'm dead as well. Nice. A bit too long to get the MF down. 
Appar <laughs> Apparently the the MF is like playing with Deadman's Blade. Are you serious? Like that's why she was running so quickly. It's because she got the Deadman's Blade. I've never seen an AD carry running a Deadman's Blade before, but it does make sense in this game at least. That's actually not too bad because she can just run up with like a 2 billion movement speed and just hit like one auto. That's not bad at all. But yeah, anyway, we're maxed out. There's not much more we can get. I can't replace Berserker's Greaves. My teammates are going to have to deal with this guy. I can't catch this guy unless I kill force up to him. It's super unlikely. This guy's got a red buff. Hmm. Yeah, I think the game is going to end right here. No, we got him. <laughs> She'll probably try and jump. Goodbye. That's like three autos. I'm just obliterating the Yumi with auto attacks. Oh, we actually got the kill too. Not too bad, man. 2.3k. Yep. We have to make a choice here. We can swap around Berserk's Greaves. I'm just not really sure what to get anymore because I need movement speed, but... We can try and go for Deadman's Play. It's a good replacement. But if I hit my, uh, if I hit an auto, <laughs> we can no longer run away. Mm, it's probably the best choice. I think I'll probably build it. Okay, Demon's Play will empower my Q, sort of, in its own way. So we'll see how that's gonna go. Go. Again, red potion. Nice to have. Let's go mid. Let's take a look. 25 kills, bro. Man, this Adi is fed. Hmm. I'll walk around, use the Gale Force if needed. But I think I probably don't need it. <laughs> My damage, bro. Absolutely ridiculous. What if I jump on uh, my Q and Aatrox? I wonder like how much damage I'm going to end up doing. Don't know if they got vision here. I guess we're about to find out. I'm kind of scared about getting hit by Adi's combo. But yeah. What if you retry? Wait. I don't think they have vision here. I'll start it. Hmm. She's out kiting my, my ultimate. Yep. Well, I managed to get it at the very least. Master Yi also dies. I think that this is done. Oh, the Yumi? Why did Yumi do that, man? The Yumi, <laughs> the Yumi detached from the Aatrox to tank the uh, to tank the damage, and then the Yumi died. Would have been better for if if he kept like staying on the Aatrox. Okay. Hey, this is Garantop. Thanks so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.